Hi friends, we'll try to develop a pie chart like this. Earlier we have finished our line chart, bar charts and some shapes also we have developed. We are trying to integrate all these shapes to our final report what you will be uh, producing. So we'll learn how to develop this pie chart. This is our basic template. We are at the first line importing the colors because we will be using red, green, blue, all the uh, constants. So we have imported that. And the second line, it is the path, the variable you are storing. And in your case, this path is going to change. You may store it in a C drive, D drive, in different, different locations. And what's this last? This is our file name, what you will be creating. And then we will be updating this and refreshing to get the changes. So, and then we are importing the drawing on that drawing we will be uh, adding our chart. Now at line number four, we are importing the pie chart. So from this, we will be using this and creating. At line number six, seven, we are just uh, transferring the drawing into a PDF file where for that we have imported the render PDF. Now why we kept it at the bottom is since we are planning to use this script for our final report so in this in that this will be a part of it so we don't want that this uh, line number six seven to be used in our final report so there the itself will keep it so from here we'll start uh, writing d equal to drawing so this drawing we are giving the dimension now uh, let's give 800 by 800 so this is our uh, rather width and height so I'm just saying, writing it here so you can understand. Now what is this is the object I'm creating and equal to PIA with the all default options. So my PC, uh, my this object I have created and now I'm pasting some basic values for all this, uh, this object. Here it is. So from here till we have finally at line number 23, we have added it. So all these settings will use it. Now, how this has come up, let's just with this basic settings, what you will understand each and every line will understand. Let's just see how the our graph is. So I'm just saved it again running this. So uh, my PDF file will be updated now going there, refreshing it. Let's see how this comes up. Yeah, slightly change is there. See, okay, here some settings I have changed. Let me just go back. We'll understand this. Uh, side labels, I am making it zero. Okay, just and to understand this. So no side labels now. Here it is. You can see the particularly the pie chart. Let's understand the settings now. This is the X position and Y position of the chart from the X 120 means from the left edge and Y 300 means from the bottom it is 300 up. So the X, Y position and the chart width and height. So this we have mentioned because it's a pie chart we have mentioned. If you would have followed our earlier line chart and all, the we have given more width and less height. So here we are giving it 400, 400 because it's a circle and the drawing is 800. So you can see some edges we are leaving. Now this is the data what you are taking and these are the labels. So you can change these labels and the data. So based on this, the uh, pie chart is drawn. Now side label is zero. We have already seen that side labeled one means this labels will be positioned to the sides. So and simple labels means this will help us in identifying each slide. Now the stroke width, okay, the borders or the slices, whatever the stroke means it's the line. Okay, now what you see on particular slice, we want to move it away. Say, let's say it is three. We just let's see what the, how the basic diagram is. Here you can see, this is the popped out. This is the third one we have popped out. So you can see here, it is three means slightly does come out. Now let me just make it more so you can easy. Let me make it 20. So what happens in now? Okay, sorry, let me run it once so the file will be updated. Now I will just refresh it. See the this particular one you just see this will move out. I am refreshing it because I am giving a higher value. So it has moved out. Now let's come back, keep it as two. Then the stroke width of this particular slice, not the all. Then dash array, you can see there is a there is a borders are dashes this array how much gap how much line will be that is decided by this label radius is here you see this label is shifted 1.1 from this border if i'll make it one then this will be flushed with this now how far i, I want to move out let's say i will i'll keep it as a, uh, label radius as 0 0.5 0 0.5 now i am bringing it in 
so save this let's see how where it goes okay created now let me come here and refresh it see the d where the d has come so that's what let's me just give it 1.3 so slightly away now the font color of this particular slice i am picking it red and the size is 26 and then finally i am adding it to this i can increase the size particular slice because this slice i want to uh, focus more on that so i have popped it out and then giving the different font so let's with all these settings let's keep it slightly away so let's say it is uh, 10 rest of the things saved i am just updating the file and coming here and refreshing it you can see this is my one but let's see this is the finally okay some more settings font color size a lot of few other settings are there in the manual you can just play around it but let's see this data this data and labels we have fixed it what happens if i'll take a data from a database or some other data will try to take it and bring it in this format so we can generate it check this file this is the student data dot python file we have created it at the line number one we are importing the, our engine and then we are creating a connection object by using sqlite so this sqlite sample database it's a file based database so the path i have given here so you can in your case it may change so based on your uh, where it is and this sample db is also available for you to download it so with the some sample student table is there inside so if you are not using sqlite then you can just come uncomment the line number three and comment the line number two now the data will be connected to your mysql database or sql or whatever database we are using some other database it can take it so the this particular variable name I, we are intentionally keeping it same so it can easily switch over to one db to another type of db now at line number four we are just collecting two uh, two column data what is the this particular query group by will uh, list out what are the classes and how many numbers of students are there because these two data we want to take it at a to our pie chart so for that the class and the count count will give return me the number of records in a grouping by class so that's that particular one my cursor then again my connection we are just executing the query you can change this query also to get in different different types of data so i am creating a list by telling my result by using fetch all and here is my final data format my classes is i'm using a for loop and class getting the class as a list then my numbers is against each class what is the number in the same sequence i am getting so both i am creating the list and this list matches to the pie chart format what you have used it now just let's uh, save this run once you can see this in the this is for our uh, understanding at line number nine we are printing both the list let me just print it once uh, let's see yeah here it is you just see at the bottom here this is the all classes and this is another list which tells the number of students in that class so now my two uh, data list data are ready using this will generate the pie chart now this was for our understanding so i don't require a print command here so simple these two variables my classes and my numbers i will be using it now let's come back to my chart file here it is here what i will do i will say from student student data import what are the variable names uh, my classes okay and one more thing is my numbers here it is so these two uh, list i am getting from there now here we come down this two lines i will comment it because I don't I, I want to use our own data whatever has comes out from the database so I will say PC dot data equal to now my sorry it is in my number so I am getting that data now again PC dot uh, this is actually labels labels should be I will should take uh, equal to my classes because these are all my classes are my labels so i am just saving this running it again okay no error so it has come off now let me just go here refresh it 
so here it is you can see now this is all the uh, classes classes and the num based on the number of students this pie chart is drawn that's all friend you can pull from any other database also and you can so i'll just go back here you can easily switch over to mysql or anything any other database and you you only have to take care that you uh, get the data in a, in a format what the pie chart can take it so two list one is for label and another for numbers so that's all uh we'll, we'll move this now we'll uh, integrate all this uh, different different charts and what you have developed into a final one report so will that will take up next before that some text part will take it up how a paragraph can be written how the alignments font and all this that is next and then we'll prepare the final report thank you friends request you to please subscribe and share our uh, these videos with your friends and request them to subscribe also and if you have any doubt suggestion questions or any ideas use the comment section below to post it and request again please subscribe and thank you for watching